Hey everyone, Compatrix here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect background, the perfect YouTube background for your YouTube channel, specifically yours, not just any YouTube background, uh, whatever yours looks like. See how I have, oh, this is my YouTube background currently on my main channel. Um, see, I put some text over here on the right side, it says, me. Where's my banner? You. You're not a YouTube partner. Me. Yet. I don't know. I just did that for fun. I don't know. Then I thought this was really cool. I put a tab. I put the Google Chrome tab. And it says Silico Officials Channel. I just took a snapshot of that. And we'll be getting into how to put things like that in our, in our, cha in our backgrounds. I also have some text over on the left side. And it says Silico Official and some really cool text that I love. It's called Slant. I'll give you guys the download link in the description. Um, then also what I did what I thought was kinda creative, um, I put the little X, the maximize thing, logo, icon thing, and the minimize icon. It looks really cool, I think. Um, See, just look, overall, it's a really good background, in my opinion. If you don't like it, then find it, like, you can customize it. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. But, then again, here's something else I added. This is a random comment I came across. Voldemort's nipple. By this random person, I have no idea who they are. That's what I like about my channel. I like it to be random. I like it to be just creative and random. But... Um, so, yeah, that's my channel. Nothing much more. Oh, yeah, besides this, kind of looks like there's a bunch of different layers underneath it of, like, I don't know. I, I just thought that also looked cool. I need to edit that text right there. This is what it looks like in Photoshop. I'm going to zoom out for you. See, these are all the layers I used. A lot of layers. Um, you guys are gonna actually have that many if you wanna make it like good like mine in my opinion again um but that's what it looks like overall and that's what yours could look like if you want it to be um we're gonna be using photoshop cs5 alright so how we're gonna start out uh you're gonna go to your channel but make sure you're logged in on a different account so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do this for my channel see I'm on a different account you always want to make sure you're on a different account and that's where I kind of failed on this um we're actually gonna make your own base just you're gonna make it right there right here and there right here and now all right so ooh, wait a minute I'm gonna have to sign out I'm gonna have to sign into you have to sign into your account sign in really quick um comp tricks and wait a minute how am i going to do this um whatever okay so you're going to log into your youtube account go to your channel and these are the settings that we want it we're going to go to models Oh wait, no. Okay, so first of all, yeah, put all the models that you want in your channel. These are all I want. That's fine. Um, now go to themes and colors. Pick the theme you want. I guess. Um, I'm gonna stick with this. We're gonna go. I'm gonna delete the background. Delete the background you currently have, and you can either put this to none. Uh, so you have an idea what where you're gonna put your little squares but instead yeah yeah okay I'll just do none alright now you're gonna save changes or whatever yeah yeah save changes now you're gonna log back into your other account okay now you're gonna go to your channel 
So it kind of takes a while to get started here. How long? Ooh, five minutes. Okay. I'm going to have to split this into parts, I think. I'm going to subscribe. Yeah. Alright. So, make sure there's no other, there's no extra things that you don't want. Alright, so, you're going to need, uh, this is for Windows 7, I guess, because we're going to be using the snipping tool. You might be able to download it for like Windows Vista or something, or else you're just kind of you're just gonna have to do it the hard way and doing a uh, print screen. Uh, it's on your keyboard. You'll have to look that up. It's different for all keyboards. All right. So wait a minute. I'm confused. Oh yeah. Okay. You're gonna take out the snipping tool, and then you're going to go to the very edge and top of your channel drag it down make sure you don't get the scrolling bar or your taskbar in sometimes it's a good idea to go full screen but I'm not gonna do that it's okay if you have like a teeny bit of your taskbar but try not to get much now we're gonna save this and name it like uh, background temp or something whatever and then uh so remember where you where the end of your picture was mine was looks like under the word four weeks ago so i'm gonna scroll down and go all right now i'm gonna i'm gonna do the same thing open up the snipping tool and then but this time see that uh you want to start from where you ended the the clip last time there we go all right i'm gonna save as background temp two um it's nice to have oops uh where was i if you accidentally do that just go back to your picture and look looks like i was a little bit under the VV comp help, uh comment. Wait, let me look at that again. Okay, so about that much. That's why I don't like having very many models. This sometimes it can take four times, but in my case, it's only gonna take three. So let's see about right. No, no, no. Let's try again. You want to get this as perfect as possible. Oops. Next one I'm just going to stick with. Never mind. That's way too bad. Okay, good enough, good enough. Now we're going to line it up. Obviously, you can do better on your own time just keep on trying if you want a perfect background background temp 3 okay now uh, we're gonna go old school and open up MS paint or any paint yeah yeah regular paint we're gonna open the first one okay background temp that's what it was and then we're gonna open up another paint and then open get the second one in. Don't worry about the third one just yet. So now we're going to go back to the first one. Scroll down. Go to about f uh, 25% and then drag this down about uh, the same size about uh, twice as much as that. So we're just going to go that far. It doesn't matter if it's too much. So it's better to have too much than too little. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this, leave about that much showing. Go to your second one, click the select thing, and then the arrow, and then do select all. Right click that and go to copy. Now go back to your first one, click that. It's important to click that or else it's not going to let you. Or you could just click paste. And now this is an important part. Uh, make sure you use your arrow keys to control it 
moving it down or up because you'll never get it even with your arrow with your cursor so you know just mess with that try and connect them pretty good okay that looks good now you're gonna click somewhere else on the picture so that line goes away okay that looks okay now remember leave about that much showing again now go back to your number two one and then open background temp three the last one and now we're gonna copy this oh yeah wait select all and copy now go back to the first one that also has the second one now and then paste now remember use your arrow keys alright let's line this up um okay that looks about good click anywhere on the screen now we got your whole channel page alright now this is gonna help us out a ton now this is why it's personalized to your channel and your channel only because you're you have different models in different orders than everybody else <clears throat> you know you have you might anyways that's the point and then templates they don't most of them don't even cover your whole channel <clears throat> which is a good thing about this because it does now we're gonna click the save button and then exit out of all these go back here you can now it's gonna be on your first one background temp you can delete these other ones you see this is what I had for my background look at look at these oops come on okay before after before after alright and that's part one alright see ya